Assalamualaikum. We will present about application of liberalization in related rate. What is related rate? Related rate is problem two or more variables that change at the same times and possibly at different rates. This story help us to calculate the trend of change order of rate. In related rates applications, we try to find the rates of which one quantity is changing by relating it to others quantities which known rates of change. The rates of change is usually expressed with respect to time. Ok now, we go through all the steps to solve the related rates problem. Let's go! Step number 1. We need to identify known rates of change and rates of change to be found in the equation. Step number 2. We need to construct a formula or equation that is the variable in instruction 1. To make it easy for us to conduct a conversation, try drawing and appropriate the table into the figure. For step number 3, we need to different on both sides of the implicit differentiation equation of differentiate using the explicit function formula of chain rule. Step number 4. Substitute all the known term or value given in instruction 3 in our calculation. The last step is to solve the unknown and done! Problem Statement 1 Ahmad planned to build a garage beside his house. A week later, a lorry come and pour a big amount of sand in front of his house. When the sand is pouring, it forms a conical pile on the ground whose height is 3 over 4 times the radius of the base of the conical pile. If the volume of the conical pile increases at rate of 5 m3 per second, Find the rate of change of the radius when the radius is 2 meter. The way to solve The first step is, you need to read the problem statement. To illustrate the problem, you can draw a diagram. The second step is, from the problem statement, you need to express the given information and the required rate in terms of derivatives. In our case, the information that was given R, H is equals to 3 over 4R, dV over dt is equals to 5 m3 per second. We are required to find the rate of change of the radius which means we need to find the R over dt when R is equals to 2. The third step is, to find the dR over dt, we must use the chain rule which means dr over dt is equals to dr over dv times dv over dt. The fourth step is, you need to identify the formula for the volume of cone first which is v is equals to 1 over 3 pi r squared h. From the problem statement, it was stated that the height of the conical pile is 3 over 4 r. Substitute this information to the formula of the volume of a cone. When you substitute, you will get V is equals to 1 over 4 pi r cube. The fifth step is, when you already got the answer, find the derivative of the volume. You need to differentiate the function and you will get dV over dr is equals to 3 over 4 pi r squared. The sixth step is, however, from the formula, we need the r over dv. We can get it by interchanging the function which means it will become the r over dv equals to 4 over 3 pi r squared. The seventh step is, now back to the problem statement. We need to find the rate of change of radius. We already find the dr over dt which is 4 over 3 pi r squared while dv over dt is already given in the problem statement, which is 5. We can multiply those two and we will get the final value of dr over dt, which is 20 over 3 pi r squared. The last step, 
You need to substitute the last information given to you, which is R is equal to 2 into dr over dt. You will get the final answer, which is 0 0.5305 meter per second. This is the full answer. So we start with the second step where we list down all of the information given to us. Then we write the chain rule that we got from the problem statement. The fourth step is where you identify the formula for the volume of a cone and substitute 3 over 4 r is equal to h into the formula. Then find dv over dr and later interchange it to get dr over dv. Next, you can find dr over dt by multiplying dr over dv and dv over dt. The last step is, as you know, substitute r is equal to 2 into dr over dt. The second problem statement is, during a birthday party preparation, Kama blows some balloons. He blows one of a spherical balloon at a rate of 55 cm cubed per second. From the activity, at what rate is the radius of the balloon changed to 8 cm? This is the way how to solve the problem. The first step is, read the problem statement carefully. To illustrate the problem given to you, draw a diagram. The second step is, from the problem statement, you need to express the given information and the required rate in terms of derivative. Based on the question, the information that was given is dv over dt equals to 55 cm cube second. We need to find the rate of change of radius which means to find the r over dt when r equals to 8 cm. The third step is, to find the r over dt, we must use the chain rule which is dr over dt equals to dr over dv multiplied by dv over dt. The fourth step is, identify the formula for the volume of sphere first which is v equals to 4 over 3 pi r square. From the formula, differentiate it and you will get dv over dr equals to 8 pi r square over 3. The fifth step is, when you already got the answer, interchange the function to get dr over dv, which means dr over dv equals to 3 over 8 pi r square. The sixth step is, to find rate of change of radius, we need to multiply dr over dv and dv over dt and we will get dr over dt equals to 135 over 8 pi r square. The seventh step is substitute the last information given which is r equals to 8 into dr over dt. The final answer we will get 0.0839 cm per second. Here is the full answer of the question 2. We need to fulfill the first step until the seventh step to get the answer. And the last answer we will get 0 0.0849 cm per second. Application of related rates in life. From here, we can see that the rate of change is very closely related to time. So the application will give us the exact time in our life that we have. By using the formula of d over dt, students can calculate it. The last one is conclusion from this topic. To compute the rate of change, the application of differentiation is used. We can accurately count the differences in change happen. That's all from us. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you.